Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today we will take another interview question. This is related to accounts payable. Now just Im uh, imagine one scenario. Let's say there is one vendor invoice with posted with a particular vendor. And now the accounting entry is something debited. Let's say we purchase inventory. So inventory is debit and uh, GRR also reconciliation done. And we have the vendor credit entry is there. Then after internal audit or during internal audit, we found that the wrongly uh, amount is posted with a wrong vendor, for example. Now we want to correct that particular vendor. So how to, the question is how to correct one vendor invoice, but this time the wrong issue or the wrong entry is with not with amount with the vendor. So how to correct it? One option, maybe you can say that uh, we will post a B08 entry and we will correct that particular vendor invoice. Right, so that means the original document which was there, so that we are going to reverse in AB08 and we will correct it. That is one option. I'm sure you must have an idea on that one. But now when you are going to reverse that entry through AB08, you are also going to reverse the debit entry when you are going to post any vendor invoice. So that time you are going to, for example, let's say it's an expenditure. So that expense is debited and vendor is credited. Now assume that it is vendor A. So vendor A is credited here. Now issue with this vendor A. So it's supposed not to be vendor A, it should be vendor B. So we want to correct this vendor B. If you are going to post a B08, so in that case, the expense what you have posted, that is going to be reversed. That means it will be credited and vendor is going to be debited so that accounting entry will be nullified. That is one option. Now let's say business is saying that we don't want to reverse this entry, not with negative posting, not with the AB08 entry, because there is no issue with this expenditure entry, right? We just want to change the vendor. So the entry should be what we are expecting here. That we are not going to touch this one, rather we are going to, the correction entry should be vendor A, which is already credited, that we are going to debit with the same amount and the next entry will be vendor B is going to be credit. So vendor B is going to credit with the same amount. Now you can see this entry is corrected. So vendor A which was originally credited, now it is deb uh, debited with this new document and vendor B we are going to have credit entry. So after this posting or after this adjustment, you will simplify, you will simply find that vendor is which was credited earlier, that line item is going to move from vendor A to vendor B. So how we will do that? Because business is not ready to reverse that particular document and once again we are going to post it. So in this case we are going to use the transaction code F-51 and uh, with that we are just going to swap the vendor. So instead of the old vendor we are going to add the new vendor and the entry will be there as it is. So for reference uh, let's take one example. Now you can say this is we have one couple of open items are there and I'm going to take let's let's take this line item. 324.45. Okay, so this is one original document, which is here, we have credited the vendor number 12. So vendor number 12, we are we have credited here. So 31, vendor 12 credit, and other adjustment entries, because here we have purchased inventory. Now, after the adjustment, or let's say we want to reverse this particular vendor, that is vendor number 12, in that place, we are going to use a different vendor. So this 324.45, will remove from here, means from vendor 12, and it will move to new vendor. So that we are going to do. So after this, you will find that this 32445 will move from this vendor and it will move to another vendor. So let's do that. Just have a look into this, I'm going to do that. So go to the transaction code. It is also known as your clearing process, but this time there is no clearing because we are not going to do a payment and all. Normally, when we are saying clearing means we are going to make the payment to the vendor or we are going to reverse it, but we are not going to do any of these two methods. We are not going to pay because the vendor A suppose or vendor number 12 suppose not to get the payment. It is wrongly entered by our user. We are going to correct it. So go to the transaction code F-51. Okay, so you can take the original date when it was posted. So everything I'm going to keep the same. So it is 22nd June. So keep all these dates as it is. 22nd June I will take. This posting date also I will correct it to 22nd June. Posting period and what is the document type? It's not invoice. It's not KR or it's not RE. The original invoice was RE but this is AB means it's adjustment entry. So three because last month transaction then you need to credit the new vendor. So we know that posting key credit that is 31. You can see here the posting key here it is 31 this one vendor credit. So we are going to credit the new vendor. So posting key I will take here 31 and uh, 
credit the new vendor which you are going to uh, where we want to transfer the entry or the new invoice so uh, let's take this one two triple zero five zero right then continue so select here the amount which you are going to transfer or you are going to post so it, it is 32445 that will be my credit amount 32445 other details you may enter here so it is vendor adjustment vendor adjustment okay now I, I i will not post any debit entry here because we are not going to touch the debit entry so instead of that we are going to select the open items so select here the open items open items related to which account already where the transaction was posted wrongly so that is 12 vendor number 12 account type k so here couple of entries are there and i'm going to adjust this entry 32445 okay so simulate and post that's it so we got here the new document document number 10033 so we will check that the document but before that let me refresh this particular so i'm going to refresh this screen just once again check the last line so right last one it's showing that vendor number 12 having the credit entry 324.45 so refresh it it's removed now you can see that line is not there so that line must be transferred to your new vendor so new vendor we will check but just have a look into this document now in this document you are not going to find any debit entry related to your GRIR account or expense account because here there is no adjustment related to expenses there it's an adjustment of your vendor only so you will find the original vendor which was credited it should be debited and the new vendor should be credited so check this accounting entry vendor number 12 initially it was posted now it is adjusted 27 so it is debit and the new vendor 200050 is credit so just simply we swap the vendor line and now you will find that vendor line 200050 is having that open item Check this one this is the vendor adjustment so this is one way of doing a vendor swapping it's a very easy process i thought i will share with you so thank you very much for watching this video very soon we will see another scenario